Hey everybody, Marijuana Man here. Down here in the uh, basement at Pot TV and looking at some news coverage. Uh, not too long ago, but a week ago, there was a big apartment complex in Toronto that was raided and they found a whole bunch of uh, marijuana gardens inside. But um, I find it curious that every time I do see something printed or put in the media about marijuana, it is generally a raid and otherwise it's just information fed by the police. Now here's a very good example. This is from CBC, National CBC News, and the number of times that they quote the cops in this. I'm going to put it up in the corner every time I come back and talk to you. We'll see how many, but uh, boy, they must think that we're not paying attention because this is one piece of garbage journalism. Take a look at this stuff. On a major marijuana grow operation that they say is worth more than six million dollars and they found it in a Toronto high-rise apartment. Police about to give details in this in a news conference and the CBC's Neil Coxill is in Toronto with the details on what we should hear. Neil. Here we have a news broadcaster throwing it to another news broadcaster who's going to tell us potentially what we're going to hear at a press conference given by the police. Why do we need these people here in between us and the police? Well, Heather, police say this is one of the largest they've ever seen in the city, and one detective in this case said it is also one of the most dangerous and actually the largest that he has ever seen. Here now that young woman didn't utter anything that wasn't put in her mouth by the police. They said, the police said, the police said it was dangerous, the largest and most dangerous setup they've ever seen. I don't think so. That would be a lie, folks. Here's a breakdown of the bus that happened yesterday. Now, police are saying that the pot that they seize is worth $6.6 million. Uh, they also say that that is 6,600 plants that they seized, and all these plants were spread over 22 apartments on nine floors of the same apartment building. Once again, she just gave you a breakdown of what the police had told her in the previous segment. She broke it down to say that it's worth $6.6 .6 million, the police said. This makes every plant that they confiscated, if in fact it's even true that they got 6,600, there's no way to know. They lie about everything else that they say here. There's no reason to think they wouldn't be lying about that. They sure are lying about what the, the it's worth. That would make every plant here worth $1,000. That means you got to have what? I don't know, five ounces on a plant. Every plant has got to have five ounces of good weed on it. Not a chance in hell, folks. So now they inflate the prices and these people just spew it back. And here's a look at the building where uh, police were making arrests and... and <laughs> okay, here's the only bit. That was the only bit that the CBC actually put in there themselves was to go there and take a picture of the apartment building where it happened. They had arrived there yesterday morning with just a handful of warrants, five warrants uh, for a pod growing operation, not understanding the full uh, the full extremity of what was in that building. By day's end, they had 20 warrants. They've made two arrests in this case. We're hoping to learn more about the arrests in the case coming up at 11 o'clock Eastern time from police headquarters, Heather. And police say they believe this operation has likely been going on for about a year. Okay, well, they say that this has been going on for a year. Now, obviously, no danger whatsoever to anybody. They would have known about it if it had posed any danger to anybody. But um, why do they want to know about more arrests? Why, do they, why is this even a news piece, right? They are making this up. The police have fed these people the information, and they're just making up that there's some sort of danger that exists. Talk about marijuana grow ops, Neil. They always talk about them as dangerous for the public at large. Just refresh our memory on why that's so. Just refresh our memory on why that is so. Out of the blue, she says that the police always say that they are dangerous. Grow ops are dangerous. Tell us why they are dangerous again. Tell us why again what the police said. And she does. Well, particularly in a case like this one, Heather, they say the danger is when it comes to fires breaking out. And they say it's not a matter of a case like this. When, if a fire will break out, it's when a fire will break out. There were just so many plants, such a huge operation. Once again, right out of the cops' mouths, it's not if a fire, but when. I wonder how many fires took place in that apartment building over the same time 
right? From frying pans and kids with matches and people falling asleep with cigarettes. They were certainly not called to this marijuana grow operation because of a fire. So why is there such a threat? The, the news broadcaster here didn't even mention that there was any electrical problems. She mentioned there was a lot of plants. Plants aren't going to burst into flames. Unbelievably stupid journalists. Whoever wrote this shit is an idiot. And it came right off the wires from the cops. Also, this was not a classic hydroponic operation, the police say. It was a soil-based operation, which means that there were increased chance of dangerous mold. The dangers of mold. They always say this. Now, they didn't put it on the 6 o'clock news, the dangers of the mold, when they had leaky condos that absolutely were dangerous because of mold. How many potted plants do you think would exist in an apartment building that big? Would there be mold in those too? There's probably mold in all sorts of people's bedrooms with their sandwiches they left over. They have invented this stuff. In the body of the printed context at cbc.ca, they said that the police officer said he could actually see mold spores in the air. How can they lie like this? They just lie like this, and these people, these journalists, print it. I would suggest everybody email every journalist and tell them to stop lying about this. But it goes on. And the issue of electricity, the reason these kind of apartment buildings are a draw for people who want to have large-scale grow-ups like this is because they can use lots of electricity without going notice. And that's what police say apartment owners and building managers need to watch out for. Still, the only information that the police said the police said that this is somehow dangerous and now they're inferring that the use of electricity is dangerous. They weren't called there because they were breaking or tripping breakers, which would in fact be dangerous. But all of these grow ops were set up in different apartments that weren't evidently overusing the limits of the power capabilities. No danger whatsoever. She just said that the use was dangerous cut into the supply that's right the risk of fire very high neil thanks very much this was just absolute babble at the end cut into the supply the danger the risk of fire and wrap it up and that's it that's all this is what they're doing out there every journalist every bit of media is doing exactly the same thing and i think you should all contact them newspapers television stations email these people write them a letter and tell them that they should start investigative journalism again and we know that this is just coming from the cops. They have an agenda, and they're putting it on the 6 o'clock news. This is Marijuana Man. Thanks for watching.